heat-related safety. Extreme heat emergency information. Heat kills by pushing the human body beyond its limits. Under normal conditions, the body's internal thermostat produces perspiration that evaporates and cools the body. However, in extreme heat and high humidity, evaporation is slowed and the body must work extra hard to maintain a normal temperature. Most heat disorders occur because the victim has been overexposed to the heat or has overexercised for his or her age and physical condition. Other conditions that can induce heat-related illnesses include stagnant atmospheric conditions and poor air quality. A prolonged drought can have a serious economic impact on the community. Increased demand for water and electricity may result in shortages of resources. Moreover, food shortages may occur if agricultural production is damaged or destroyed by a loss of crops or livestock. Danger Zones All areas in the United States are at risk of drought at any time of the year. Drought gripped much of the West and Midwest from 1987 to 1991. The Missouri River Basin and California have experienced extended periods of drought as well. What is extreme heat? Temperatures that hover 10 degrees or more above the average high temperature for the region and last for several weeks are defined as extreme heat. Humid or muggy conditions, which add to the discomfort of high temperatures, occur when a dome of high atmospheric pressure traps hazy, damp air near the ground. Excessively dry and hot conditions can provoke dust storms and low visibility. Droughts occur when a long period passes without substantial rainfall. At heat wave combined with a drought is very dangerous situation. To prepare for extreme heat, you should install window air conditioners snugly, insulate if necessary, check air conditioning ducts for proper installation, Install temporary window reflectors for use between windows and drapes, such as aluminum foil covered cardboard to reflect the heat back outside. Weather strip doors and sills to keep cool air in. Cover windows that receive morning or afternoon sun with drapes, shades, awnings, or lovers. Outdoor awnings or lovers can reduce the heat that enters a home by up to 80%. Keep storm windows up all year. During a heat emergency. What you should do if the weather is extremely hot. Stay indoors as much as possible and limit exposure to the sun. Stay on the lowest floor out of the sunshine if air conditioning is not available. Consider spending the warmest part of the day in public buildings such as libraries, schools, movie theaters, shopping malls, and other community facilities. Circulating air can cool the body by increasing the perspiration rate of evaporation. Eat a well-balanced, light, and regular meals. 
Avoid using salt tablets unless directed to do so by a physician. Drink plenty of water. Persons who have epilepsy or heart, kidney, or liver disease are on high fluid restricted diets or have problems with fluid retention should consult a doctor before increase, increasing liquid intake. Limit intake of alcoholic beverages. Dress in loose fitting, lightweight, and light colored clothes that cover as much skin as possible. Protect face and head by wearing a wide brimmed hat. Check on family, friends, and neighbors who do not have air conditioning and who spend much of their time alone. Never leave children or pets alone in closed vehicles. Avoid strenuous work during the warmest part of the day. Use a buddy system when working in extreme heat and take frequent breaks.